Glycogen storage disease is quite rare, affecting only one of 100,000 people, primarily children. But each of them has a friend and ally in Dr. David Weinstein, Associate Professor of Pediatrics at the College of Medicine and Director of the University of Florida's Glycogen Storage Disease Program. It is the largest clinical and research program of its kind in the world, treating 80% of the nation's severe GSD patients. Glycogen storage is a severe disorder where children can't release sugar from their liver. So you and I eat a meal. During that meal, we store sugar in the liver. And then whenever the meal is done digesting after about an hour, an hour and a half, the liver releases sugar to run the body. These kids can't do it. So anytime they, they stop eating or stop their treatment, the blood sugar immediately falls. They are at risk for seizures and they can even die. It was a disease that was completely fatal until about 1971. The main treatment for GSD, oddly enough, is consuming cornstarch, which is hard to digest and therefore releases glucose into the blood slowly. Cornstarch is a practical, affordable method of providing gradually digested glucose to those who suffer from GSD. One tablespoon contains nearly nine grams of carbohydrates. While cornstarch is a safe, relatively inexpensive treatment that requires no equipment, the patient must consume it every three to four hours. Since coming to UF, Weinstein and his research teams have worked on extended release cornstarch preparations. Cornstarch, while it's not ideal, if we could just allow people to sleep through the night, we will have made a lot of progress. So that's been one of our goals, is to find a new product that would take that pressure off of needing treatments every three to four hours allowing people to sleep, because then it really wouldn't be such a bad disease. So what attracted Dr. Weinstein to the University of Florida? I wanted to make sure that every child got taken care of and that we could really build a program. And even though I was at an outstanding institution, I was at Harvard, we were able to come to a place and build something from scratch. The second reason I moved down here is we, we were able to build this ideal program, this dream of helping everybody. The collaborations that happen here are really quite unique and allowed the work to go forward together. But the fight against GSD continues to be an uphill battle. There are very few doctors who know anything about glycogen storage disease. You have a disease that may get five or 10 minutes in medical school, if that, and doctors get hundreds or thousands of diseases like that in medical school and they just don't learn everyone. Even its current treatment option tends to undermine Dr. Weinstein and his colleagues. You have a disease that is treated by a gravy thickener. And how do you get people to take this disease seriously when you go to the supermarket and get your medical treatment? Right now we need the support to keep the work going. All of our research at this point, because of the tough financial period, is being supported by philanthropy. And that has limited our work at times. Through all of this, Dr. Weinstein remains optimistic about the future and a potential cure for glycogen storage disease, thanks largely in part to the University of Florida. We've been able to create research programs here that never would have been possible at other places. We collaborate here at the University of Florida in a way that I've never seen at other institutions. And the proof is in the progress. In terms of the progress here, it's really been quite remarkable. We've been able to get new treatments, we've been able to get new technology, we've been able to, to work on getting to the point of realistically being able to talk about curing this disease, but there's still a lot more to do. And with the infrastructure we have here, I think the future is very bright and the potential is endless. With its tremendous infrastructure, combined with advanced gene therapy, pioneering surgeries, an unsurpassed passion like that of Dr. David Weinstein, the University of Florida is making great headway on glycogen storage disease as well as other rare diseases that afflict children. For more information about GSD, please visit the University of Florida Glycogen Storage Disease Program website.